what's happening in the real estate market in Tracy and around us. Well, stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about what's happening in the real estate market like we do once a month to give you the stats and how things are looking. So let's first start with it. Happy November, it is currently Monday uh, at 1.43 p.m. and we currently have 92 homes active and available on the market, meaning active and available for buyers to check out and write offers on. We have 117 homes pending, meaning the buyers checked them out, wrote their offers, and sellers accepted their offers, and they are in contract or in escrow. So remember, when you have more pending than you have active on the market, that's a sign of a seller's market. Our numbers are starting to get pretty close together here, so it's still a seller's market based on those numbers and statistics, but it's starting to look like it's getting normal here, a normalized market. Um, now, when we look at what happened for the whole month of October, we and Tracy sold 109 homes overall. And out of those 109 homes, the average sold price was $730,000. So $734 to be exact, which is up 3.22% from September. But when you look at it year over year, it's actually up 27.02% from October of last year. So we put something together here that I want to show you. So I want you to take a look at this graph here. This graph or chart shows us the average sold price each month that closed for the cities of Tracy, Livermore, Manteca, and Mountain House. So if you look at the blue line here, the blue line represents Tracy. And you can see that in the months from March to June and July of this year, we were on an upward slope. Well, in the months, March through June, July of this year, our home values consistently went up in large portions. And then they kind of balanced out. And then through um, July through October, September, excuse me, kind of went down a little bit. And we're going back up. That's a sign for Tracy of us being in that more normal seller's market pre-COVID. Because remember, COVID is when we had that insane, crazy seller's market, like you can see in Livermore, for example, which is the red line. So in Livermore from January, and even before January, um, so in last year, their, their home values went up, 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 up. And you can see it hit somewhat of what looks like a peak in May. And then it's gradually going down or normalizing or adjusting to what should be a normal seller's market. So keep an eye out. We're gonna keep sharing these stats with you and data like this so you can see what's going on in the trends and what to expect. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, whether it's now or in the future, meaning next year, two years, three years from now, Give us a call at the number below. We will be honored to talk to you about your goals and the steps that you want to take, no matter how far into the future they are. So in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we have a new video out for you.